Welcome back, guys. It's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto Update. Cardano is launching smart contracts in less than 24 hours, so I thought it would be a great time to go through the charts and review our price predictions of the ADA versus USD chart. So make sure you've hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, then all so you can see the videos pop up. Remember, you can always unsubscribe or unclick the buttons if you find no value from the content. Let's go ahead, dive in. What we're looking at today, critical times in the market. It is the 12th of September as I film this in Australia. And of course, it's the 11th over in the US. So we've got critical times in the market, September 11th, 20th year anniversary. Anniversary, If you're unfamiliar with the date itself, 2001 was the year of the attacks. So these usually bring up uh, certain times in the market, important anniversary times where the markets tend to react to them. Maybe major, maybe minor, but they're definitely things that we keep in mind. And the fact that smart contracts is launching at this same time is something to, of course, keep in mind. Now, September month is often weak for crypto as well. Market corrections after a major move. So we've seen a major move in Bitcoin and ETH and a lot of other cryptocurrencies. Are we just getting a correction from this piece? We'll look at that in the charts and then what to look out for, protecting your capital. You know, if you've been following the channel, I play it more conservatively. I'm not always after the 100 Xs and I want to make sure that I am conservative with my funds, especially when the stakes increase like that is with Cardano and a lot of projects coming on to Cardano. So I've got a quote here to start with from Robert Kiyosaki. It's not how much money you make but it's how much money you keep. That's the major thing here. We can make money, but it's how much we keep. So how hard it works for you and how many generations you keep it for. So I'm looking at this as a much bigger time frame. The reason I bring this up will be more clear at the end of the video, but it comes down to the ecosystem and a lot of money grabs, especially at highly emotional times in the market. Now, if you do have Cardano and you want to make some money on that, then check out the link down below. It's staking your uh, ADA with the Investor Accelerator staking pool. You can use wallets like Yoroi, but I've got a full video tutorial down below. Just click that link. Or if you're already set up with your own wallets, just delegate to the Investor Accelerator pool for your passive income on your ADA. It's around 45 to 5.5% per annum with the ADA that you hold. And it does fluctuate with the market, so you're not missing out on any of the gains. Now, over to... Twitter for IOHK's tweet, launch confirmed. So that was on today, that was on the 8th. They talked about or posted about smart contracts upgrading. So the confirmation for mainnet, we got that out. 12th of September, 9.45 p.m. UTC. Remember UTC is London, London time, but not summer time. So keep that in mind, check it out for whatever time it is in your region and set your clocks to around 10 p.m. on the 12th. So for me, not too far away at this stage, but it has been launched. Now, what? Uh, when do smart contracts go live? We've got that. Here is the tweet, and this was the proposal. So this is the, the news announcement. The other piece here is that what are ADA smart contracts? So in case you're unfamiliar, you're just sort of hearing it over and over again. Oh, hard co smart contracts, what are they? Uh, Alonzo is the code name for the major upgrade. It's considered a hard fork, so it's a fork in the code that will bring smart contract functionality to the Cardano network. Like all cryptocurrencies, ADA uses blockchain technology to record, track, and exchange uh, exchange the uh, information, exchange of information. So uh, Hoskinson says, it'll be a fun day. So I've titled the video something around ghost chain, ghost something, as I've said here. This is what Cardano has been referred to because there is nothing on Cardano at the moment. So we're waiting for smart contracts to be launched so, people, so projects can start building on it. So... A little fun thing for Hoskinson here is to uh, buy and wear his Ghostbusters uniform. And in other news, the Alonzo upgrade will mean the Cardano network will be able to support applications like smart contracts. Cardano will gain a bigger foothold in the world of decentralized finance competing with Ethereum. So finally, if we can get this and it all works and get through the hiccups, because there's going to be hiccups in, in the code, it will just happen. That's just normal with technology. Um, then time to take on the big guys and Solana is obviously one of the big ones which has been coming at Cardano in the last several weeks. So one of the magical superpowers of Cardano is that we built it with upgradeability in mind, Hoskinson told Insider in an interview. It means that Cardano now supports programmability. That's like when JavaScript came to the web browser. So you go from static boring web pages to Facebook and Google and YouTube. Charles Hoskinson, 
I bring this up, 27th of July, 2020. So just remember in technology, things do take time. So if prices start to sag and go down and crash by 4%, never fear, all right? Charles was thinking this back in July of 2020, so over a year ago. This time next year, so July of 2021, maybe even August 2021, I predict there will be hundreds of assets running on Cardano, incorrect? Thousands of taps, tons of interesting projects and lots of unique use and utility. 2021 is going to be so much fun watching Cardano grow and evolve. That is true. We've definitely seen the price grow and evolve. The community is definitely ready to innovate. And I think that is true also. The community is definitely ready to innovate. We're just waiting on the smart contracts and then eventually we'll get these projects, all of these hundreds and thousands of dApps that Charles has all, all dreamed of um, for over, well, obviously over a year now. So I think that's just going to take a little bit of time. And I bring that up because sure, if things don't go the way they should initially, eventually it looks like it's getting there, but it's just at a different pace than what we're used to with say Solana or um, even Ethereum's taking a bit of time. But first up, let's have a look at the Bitcoin price because as I am filming this, the price is sagging ever so slightly. We had 0.7% up yesterday and today it's a, a new day, only an hour into it and we're just down by 0.4. So not much is going on. What I would keep a lookout for and this will relate to the ADA price in USD value of course is if the market begins to break beneath these low levels. So the previous major low that we saw here, not over, not huge major, but uh, compared to yesterday, which was an inside day, this price is around 44,100. So if it starts to break down 44 and then this low is at 42.9, then obviously we're probably going to see the rest of the market take a bit more of a slide. Overall, I'm still seeing this as a correction in a longer term bull trend. So this is the time that I get excited to be buying the dips, not necessarily all of these little small dips on the way up. Even though the price is very similar, I just wait for the reset and we're at the reset. In terms of Ethereum, Ethereum is also doing a very similar thing and we're just looking at the price of 32. For ADA, we are looking for ADA to beat Ethereum in the ADA ETH valuation. So that is this chart right here. So that's providing ETH stays where it is. ADA ETH has been going quite well. So you can see we're getting higher lows. That's very clear here on the chart. There's one low, another low, and another low. The beauty here, that is the type of trading and investing that I do is looking for higher swings. So we got a breakout of the 50% level. So this was support and then it broke down fortunately broke back above on increasing volume, not as big as the rest of this period here, but at least higher than the previous period where it was beginning to break down. And then what we just saw on this recent correction on the price is uh, the market to come back and test these highs right here. So the good news is we've bounced away from that and sitting comfortably. Of course, we want to buy it at the lower prices, but that just means the risk is higher because we just don't know where that low will come in. But fortunately, the support has been held. So this is ADA against Ethereum. So ADA is still um, looking like it is going to outpace Ethereum at this point in time, according to the, the facts and the charts right here. It is riskier. There's nothing on ADA. That's why you would have to hope and bet on ADA uh, increasing in price faster than Ethereum because that's the risk that you're taking. There's nothing built on it. And we're only just planning on buying what may happen in the future. So that's sitting on the old highs and uh, the major 50% level is next in line. So it's already been rejected once at 50%, but the good news is it held up, began to make higher lows. And now we're aiming to break past that 50% again, which is around that sort of 10,000 level. You can see 94 there. So around probably 10,000. Uh, the 100% of course is at top. We want to break through that. This would be for me a good sign that we are going to outpace Ethereum for this section of the cycle. Maybe this takes a little more time here and comes back to our trend line before we take off. That's fine as well. That's just part of the game uh, and it gives us more time. So if we have an accumulation period like we saw back here, it just gives us that time to springboard out of the zone. And that's going to be similar to A to BTC. You can see we took off from the previous top. So we take this off and put this on. Here's our top. We broke past the top, came back and sat on it. That's a good sign. Whereas with ADA ETH, ETH was still quite strong and we didn't manage to break past the uh, the February top. So ADA BTC, that's around a May top. 
got past the February, the May, and now we have a new top in August. This is the June top here, and there's the August top. So we need to get back through these highs. So it's slightly weaker against ETH, but still strong against Bitcoin. They, that's what you want to see. That's really good. Um, it's above the 50% level, the major 50%. That's it here, around 4,500 Satoshis, 4,600. And my next target, since we've hit this first target, 6,000, our next one is around that 78, 7,900. I don't think it's going to get there next week or the week after, maybe a bit more time before we start to move our way up. But that's okay. We've got plenty of time left in this section of the market. Nice strong volume. Volume was drying up as we were heading down. And then we got the volume come through as the market was heading up. ADA USD, the big one that everyone looks at. We're above old all-time highs. So back to the drawing. Old all-time highs, $2.50. Remember, it's on a weekly chart. So we're looking at the macro view at the moment. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it did fall back again and just started to consolidate. That's also fine. Remember, we've looked at these areas as support at the end of a weekly close. These areas as well. Those areas are around that sort of 2 to 250-ish area. Um, so that's also looking quite sweet for Cardano. And of course, if it stays above 250 and consolidates even stronger, just give us more time down here before we start our move. The price targets that we've talked about higher up are using our fibs. So there are quite a lot here. This is the smaller range that I'm using. So the first range from the crash low. And this gives us a target of around 450 and then about five bucks, so about 530. What I look for is price clusters with major levels. And so this is the major range from the lows of that, you know, one cent or so, one and a half cents to about $2.50. So now I'm going to use that range and double that. So 200% is around five bucks. 300% is around 750. 400% getting closer to $10. So 9.98, so $10. And then our 500 is going to be at $12.50. So it's nice $2.50 ranges. And the fact that we've got two clusters coming in around 750, I'm going to keep that one in mind because there's a lot of price coming together there. Of course, we've got to get through the four to five dollar area. Um, for the the cycle overall, I like that between the 750 and around that 1250 area. So a bit of a broad range there, but at least from where we are now, 250 to get to 750 gives us a 200% and then 400% increase. So. For me, that's kind of on par with where I would expect a second stage of the cycle, especially with how far ADA has already moved uh, and also at its market cap. So that's around my price predictions. We'll keep tracking it and obviously use any extra information that comes out in the chart as the market progresses. We've looked at Bitcoin, ETH, ADA uh, against the pairings also of ADA, ETH and ADA BTC. Now, the last chart to look at is ADA Solana. Now, with this pairing... It has been the weakest out of the three that we've looked at, BTC, ETH, and Solana. But I like this range here, 0 0.25, 0 0.5. If ADA can get back into that zone, then it should be okay against Solana. So they're going to be sort of holding each other's ground and we'd have to FOMO into one or the other. They'll just hold their ground. But provided, uh, provided it does get into that zone, as long as ADA is falling against Solana, then Solana is going to be the stronger in this case. So you might want to consider looking at both of these for a portfolio if you want to have a balanced portfolio. Now, what I talked about earlier is what to look out for. So protecting capital. The market gets crazy hot. Everyone comes out to try and take money or they disguise it. Well, I do disguise it in a way of growing out ecosystems and giving you other opportunities to make yourself 100Xs. And they are available out there. That is possible. So what I'm looking at here are a lot of these smaller projects. I'm, I've got nothing against these smaller projects. They are on the Cardano ecosystem. Some people are looking for 10X altcoins on Cardano ecosystem, for example. So I'm just looking at Spores and I've got Charlie here, Charlie 3, and uh, Giro Wallet, Paribus. The main thing here, go and check the chart. If they are getting talked up and you are FOMOing, wanting some of these projects, remember the idea here is to protect your capital. I don't like buying in on charts that are trending down, 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 down. I want to see a bit of a reversal before we start to move up. Now, we saw the reversal here in late August, early September, but the bad news for this particular chart, and I'm only going to refer to the chart, not necessarily the project, but this sort of chart is just trending down again. So just keep an eye on that if you 
Start to feel the FOMO that you've missed out on ADA and you're looking into the ecosystem. Remember, it's not about how much money you make, but it's how much you keep. And so if you start FOMOing in on projects like this, which are in a downtrend, then you're not going to be keeping too much of what you've already made if you have made anything. So keep that in mind for a lot of these smaller projects out there in the ADA ecosystem. Now, if you want to learn more about trading and investing, last thing I've got here is the Investor Accelerator. This is a Patreon group, so you can check it out. The link to this is down below in the description. As I mentioned, it's going by about five to 10 places per day. We're down to 61 left out of the 100. So check it out down below. Who's TIA at light for new and old investors looking for an edge in the crypto market? So all the exclusive content is down there. Uh, complete post archives, monthly market reports, and uh, we've got weekly market videos. So the new one's coming out tomorrow on Monday. So join up if you're interested in joining a crypto and investing community, going at about five to 10 per day. So uh, get in quick. So before I wrap up, if you aren't already, make sure you're staking your ADA, whether it's with this pool or another pool, go and look up pools and how to stake your ADA to make in uh, passive income on that ADA that is sitting there if you plan to hold this long term. I've got the links to that and a uh, link to the video down below if you need a bit of a tutorial on what to do and where to go. Link to this is down below. I'll see you guys at the next video. That's Cardano for today. We'll probably update it earlier this week, especially after smart contracts launch within the next 24 hours. Make sure you've hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. I'll catch you on Instagram or on Twitter. I'll see you over there or in Patreon, which will uh, have a new video coming out tomorrow for you guys. See you at the next video, guys. Until then, have more fun to get more done.